Hello, my friends. Welcome to the first Reddit review of 2024. Let's see what our community has been up to. The timing on this is amazing. Okay, I've seen this one already. It's hilarious. It's it, you. You're gonna cry laughing after watching this. Watch this. I, it, it just doesn't get old. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Just to make sure you saw what happened. Here is full screen version. Watch this again. This is this is the best clip I have ever seen in Disney Gym Light Valley in my life. <laughs> Donald just boom. It's a, it's perfect. It, like it doesn't get any more perfect than this. This is the most insane coincidence. And the funniest one I've ever seen in my life, so... Cre Cr Crimson Raider. You should make this into a short and upload it to YouTube. It's gonna go viral. Is it just me, or am I the only one not willing to rearrange and decorate the biomes apart from what quests require? Now, I know that a lot of people don't decorate. And uh, the, a lot of people have different ways to play the game some people just do the quests some people love doing uh the grinding and getting like hoarding materials some people love decorating i feel like if you are not if you don't like decorating then you're probably not participating in dream snaps which is unfortunate or or fortunate because less competition i, I don't know i don't know if it's gonna help or not if more people play Dream Snaps, but uh, yeah, there's no wrong way to play D Disney Dream Light Valley. Whatever, if as long as you're having fun, you are doing it the right way. I don't like doing it either, and I hate the quests that or duties that make me add more stuff. What I do, I usually I just place like three items, just three random furniture items that are on the top of my list, and then I take them off immediately. It's, it takes like a 30 seconds. But yeah, I, I can definitely see the appeal of not decor like leaving stuff as it is. But one thing I do like to do is to completely stri strip down everything. Like leave all the biomes bare if I'm not decorating there because that helps finding all the items in there much easier. And especially finding chests when you're panning in, in furniture mode, trying to find the chests. Not having any extra trees or rocks or giant structures helps a lot in finding those items. Vanellope who? Sorry, I don't I don't get it. I, I need explanation. I'm sorry, I just hate her house. I hate it. Oh you hit her house! What? Come on, is it really that bad? Poor girl. To be honest, I don't mind her house. Or Wally's. Maybe because I love them as characters and it fits them really well. But I get this out for everyone. I'm definitely taking inspiration for this. I have all my pink houses. Belle's castle. Van's house. Who is Van? And Minnie's house. And Frosted Heights. Wasn't sure what to do with them yet. Thank you for this. Minnie and Belle will work perfect for the Candyland and Bakery theme. Yes. Yes. I mean, you you know we can remove houses now, right? Like, I mean, we, we can't remove them, but we can move them to, an, like, if you don't hang out, I, I guess if you don't want to have it in either island, that that's one way to hide it. But I would just put it, like, somewhere far away where I don't usually go very often. I don't think there is a single house in the game that bothers me this much, but... Uh, Fair enough. If you don't like it, that's perfect. Uh, like this bamboo wall is a perfect item to hide stuff that you never want to see. Wilson! <laughs> oh no, I get the reference. I must be so old. The funny part, I get the meme even though I haven't watched the movie. But I, I, heard, I heard enough about it to, to recognize the reference. So, <laughs> nicely done. So many reports of theft. Random visitor. Resource I don't put away. Is this for me? Wait, what? Reports of theft? 
How is it even possible? How can you? Th I I I I haven't heard a single okay, uh, occurrence of it. I, I'm just trying to understand how do you even steal stuff. Like first of all, how? Like if you, it's it's such it's so difficult to even open your valley up. And then you have to share the code, so you probably will just share it with people that you know. And then they come in... And they just take... Like, I, I, I'm just trying to understand how does it even happen. If you invite some strangers, like random people, maybe you just posted your code somewhere in Reddit to just say, Random people, come into my valley. Well then, make sure that you don't have any items that you actually need lying around. Of course they're gonna assume that's for them. Who has gems lying around on the floor? Okay, I need to get into this. How? This is why I don't do the visitor thing. Not to mention I have a crazy amount of work to do to my valley. And I'm only like half hour or two a day. Oh, like an hour or two a day. Can all be stolen? I found out flowers, twigs, woods can be taken. The resources you have lying around or in furniture can be stolen. What have you been stolen? I don't like the thought of people coming to my valley without me being there and possibly taking something I may have needed. But that's not how this works, though. Like, it's... You have to jump through a billion hoops to have people in your valley, so... Inviting strangers. I mean, I can understand inviting strangers if you want to, for example, just farm... Uh, pixel shards and you don't have any friends that play the game but I did not think that stealing items was a big issue so many reports okay I'm actually curious now let's see multiplayer hot take everyone is talking about being stolen from and I'm really not trying to bad talk people but do you all not expect this who is talking about being stolen from how does this even happen I decorate with items mostly food if something gets taken, I can remake it, find it again. I've played enough games to know people steal. Okay, I, I know that people steal, but I feel like Disney Dreamlight Valley, like, why would you... Like, are there actually people who just uh, search for random people codes on the internet just so they can visit their valleys and steal their items? I feel like it's less effort to craft or, like, gather the items. Like, how... It's not efficient use of time, in my opinion. Like, what what possible treasures can people be have lying around? First of all, uh, stealing stuff like flowers, sticks, shells. I don't even consider that stealing. Or spices. All of that stuff respawns pretty quickly, so I, I don't consider that stealing. Second of all, I one point I see is that some people decorate with items. For example, food. You have, like, tables with food that you spend some time figuring out which food goes on it to look good maybe you have uh, borders made with uh, golden bars or iron bars like I do in my shop and I can see people potentially taking the foods from the table maybe not reali not realizing it was a decoration maybe they thought that since the person who invited me has food on the table that's like for the visitors to take that that's like I, I can see that happening, but I just I just can't comprehend why would people go into random people's valleys just to s try to steal like a rock or a gem or whatever's like random stuff lying around. I really just want to visit somebody's valley to explore. I'm sad that people are stealing things. It's a horrible thing to do and ruins the experience. I just like going and looking at everyone's valleys to see what it looks like. I've only been able to go see one valley. Okay, I, I, I get it. I, I get why people might want to share their codes on Reddit. Like, they just want to invite people. Uh, like, it's, it's just nice to have actual real people in your valley. It feels more lively. It's more fun. But then imagine you just share your code and a bunch of people come in and start going around just picking up everything that can be picked up. I honestly did not expect that to be a problem in Disney Gym Light Valley. I, f I, feel like, I feel like it's something that's small kids mostly would do and i'm not generalizing it's just i feel like I, I feel like adults would not do that they would know that or at least they would ask first before taking anything if they see something lying around 
I don't know. I, 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 I'm so shocked that this is such a big issue in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Let me know in the comments if you guys had any issues with uh, opening up your valley and people stealing from you. I'm curious how widespread it is. Valley visitors stealing food. Do not leave food out if you invite people over. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I thought that food would be the most uh, common. Also, yeah, if you decorate with flowers, for example, if you have flowers in the specific spots where you want them, or you decorate with food, that's not something you want to be picked up because it might take a while to figure out the composition that you had before and to replace it in exactly the same way. And it's just not something you want to be doing. Like, I feel like... Yeah, I can see I can see how this can be a problem. But how do we fix this problem? How do we still be able to... Tra I know how to fix the problem. Guys, I think I figured it out. So what they need to do... What they need to do is to, instead of just dropping items and letting other people to pick them up, we just have, like, a trade interface. Like in pretty much any other game. You come close to the character, you click on the character, there's going to be, like, a button, trade. And then the screen opens up, you basically put... It's like a little nice little storage system with your inventory to the side. It's like a chest, pretty much. You put the items that you want to give to another player into the chest, then you accept the trade, the person accepts the trade, maybe they can give you a few items back, and bam, you exchange the items. First of all, this will completely stop... Uh, like, you can completely turn off any pickups in the game. I don't think anybody cares about being able to pick up people's flowers or woods. You just stop don't let people pick up anything in the valley and just use trade interface if you want to trade items. This way people can still decorate with flowers, food, and other droppable items and nobody's going to get stolen from. Once again, multiplayer is very new feature, so there's bound to be issues with it. And uh, this is honestly the one that I did not see coming. Out of all the issues with multiplayer, I did not expect stealing stuff would be one of them, but it thankfully it has a pretty easy fix. And in my opinion, that's a more comprehensive trading system anyway than just dropping items and picking items up. That would be cool. That would be cool to do. So hopefully next update we're going to get some improvements for the multiplayer. All right. I think we're going to end it here. I'm, I'm really curious to know your experience, guys. Have you had things stolen from you? To be honest, I once stole an item, like a food item from Jimmy when I was uh, inside his house. He had a table with the food right near the door and I clicked on the door to exit the room and I accidentally took one of the food items from his table and there's no way to put it back. There's like nothing you can do. You can drop it back, I guess, and then the person going to have to go. So if you're visiting somebody's valley, uh, I guess one tip I would have is do not assume that if they have food out on the table that this food is for you. I would recommend not taking anything, absolutely anything. No flowers, no sticks, even if you think that the person doesn't need it. If you want to take something, you, you better make sure to ask the person first and get their permission. This way, nobody is going to get upset and people can visit each other's valleys with confidence. So yeah, that's... That's my take on this. Uh, let me know yours. And thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to all of our awesome supporters. Welcome to 2024. Let's see what this game is going to have to offer to us this year. And I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe for more content. And goodbye.